Welcome to Summoned Awesome Games, good looking people, I'm Rob, we are playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and it's out globally. If you're in a country and you have a phone, you can probably download this and play it right now. Uh, today, I'm going to give you beginner's tips. Today I'm giving you beginner's tips. I thought after the last one where I made up pro tips, uh, let's actually give you some genuine tips while playing it in our usual style. Don't expect like an actual proper tips guide, but expect some solid tips from a player who knows a thing or two about tips. Uh, that sounded wrong. I don't know. I, I take that back. Just good information. Let's go with that. Uh, your marketplace is your bell maker. Do it wisely. If you're selling things for full price, no one will buy them. I'm telling you, no one will buy it. If you're selling a coconut for a hundred bucks, no one's gonna buy it. That's full price. You gotta sell things below market price and multiple of them. Uh, speaking of coconuts, let's sell some coconuts. I'm gonna sell three. 100 bucks for three is not bad. I reckon I could bump this up to half price, 150. They're worth 300, yes, but at 150, someone will buy that because it's a deal. And they're free, these things are free. They don't cost you bells, so you're earning bells. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna put that up and someone will buy that at some point, right? Try not to put 10 things in a thing. If you have 10 coconuts, you go, oh, I'm gonna sell 10 coconuts. Definitely don't sell them for a thousand bells, first of all, because that's way too much, no one's gonna buy that. Uh, I would sell it 500 max, but hell, I wouldn't even sell 10 things at a time. That's too much. People have limited inventory space. Who the hell wants to waste their inventory space, right? We have right now 195. I literally just seconds ago bought another spot, uh, which I'll get into leaf ticket spend in a minute. But we have a limited amount of inventory space. If you're selling 10 of something, that's 10 spaces you got to hope someone has who wants to buy what you're selling. Sell maximum of like three to four. Four is pushing it. Three, I, I think, is a sweet spot for selling things. People usually have three spots in their inventory. Uh, but if you're selling 10, people are not going to want that. It's either going to be filling up their inventory, then they're going to be able to buy it anyway because their inventory is going to be too full. So don't sell too many things. People won't be able to buy them. Sell them. If you split them up, three, 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 you might be able to sell them that way. But do not sell 10. That's my advice. That's my pro tip. Inventory is a great place. This is where I like to spend my leaf tickets. If you're spending leaf tickets, you're going to have a lot at the start, right? You're going to have a ton of leaf tickets. Uh, you'll be tempted by KK Slider like I was. Maybe Tom Nook. Don't buy Tom Nook. Uh, but leaf tickets spendage is important. I like to buy these now. Uh, we got 20 leaf tickets for five. The more inventory space you have, the better. The less stressed you'll be. If you see a shell, oh, I can pick that up. I see some fruit, I can pick that up. I want a fish, I'll catch that fish. We have, what, over 50 spots left that I can capture things or pick up things or hold things. That's very comforting. I can just see something, catch it, not worry about, oh man, I'm full, I better sell it on the marketplace. Uh, I'm stressing out. If I'm, if you're on a bus or whatever it is, you got five minutes, you want to play quickly. Oh, damn it, this guy wants this. I got to go try and find it. Doesn't matter, it's in your inventory most likely because you have so much of it. So I like to spend my leaf tickets here. Originally, I spent my leaf tickets here. I have a nice amount of market boxes. These are cheaper, these cost 10 leaf tickets for one slot. Now if you put something in your market, you can't take it back. It has to sell or you have to remove it because no one bought it. So this is your money maker. So I have a, I'm comfortable with the amount of market boxes I have. So. I'm not, I don't need more. I feel like I don't need more. And I'm very happy there. So I've stopped spending my leaf tickets there. I'm focusing on inventory space because this is so, I feel so relaxed when I play this game because I have so many things I hold. I can just run around, give people things, pick up things, stress-free. Worrying about inventory management is a thing of the past, man. And I think it goes up to 250. So you get inventory spaces as you level up, but hell, buy them with leaf tickets. You'll find, especially early on, you'll find your life is so much better. Forget KK Slider. Forget Tom Nook. Spend your leaf tickets here. Never spend your leaf tickets here. Never, never at the Shovel Strike Quarry. You have the option to pay 20 leaf tickets. Don't ever, ever do that. That is a bad idea. That's the worst idea you've ever had. Don't do it. We'll go there in a second anyway. Another pro tip. This little My Nintendo logo down here in the bottom left. Link your Nintendo account, complete its weekly missions. I'm gonna load it up, I wanna see if mine's linked. It's linked on my phone, but for some reason it thinks my tablet's not anymore. Yet the save goes across 
between them. We'll see. Uh, here we go. Okay, it, it does work. Missions. We have weekly missions, right? We can collect points for completing weekly missions. So, complete 50 camper requests. That's easy enough. Complete 100 camper requests. They're usually the same thing. They're usually the same mission. And you'll get points for that every week. And you can spend them what you, on what you want. And they don't, they don't expire. So don't worry about, oh, my 50 points, I gotta spend them this week. You can stack them up. If you want that OK Motors jacket, I bought the hat and then I regretted it and I was like, I'm not buying the jacket. You can buy 5,000 bells. If you have 100, you can get 20 craft materials for 50. So if you want some easy money, 500 bells. You can buy these, like, as long as you have the points, you can buy them. The only one-time thing is the 50 leaf tickets. Uh, it's free. You don't need any points to buy it. You can only do it once, though. But 50 leaf tickets is 50 leaf tickets. So whatever you're chasing, whatever you're after, you need something. I'm always chasing cotton, but this time I need wood. So I'm just going to go, spend my 50 points, redeem, get me some free wood. Don't have to do anything, really. I'm just playing the game. I go in there. I get some wood. And it goes to my mailbox. 20 wood. Just like that. Easy. How good's that? So do that. That is the ultimate tip, really. So that's leaf tickets. That's uh, my Nintendo account. I never really spend leaf tickets here in speeding up crafting stuff. You could if you're impatient, but I would say don't bother. Time is time. Time will pass. Go to sleep. It'll be done. Stress less about that. Uh, so we've completed an amenity, which will open in a second. Now, we're going to go Shovel Strike Quarry, because you probably want to see what's going on there, right? I'll explain this. I've come to understand it. So, you see our reward is steel, and it's yellow. That should mean we get bonus steel, ba ba ba. So, you have to send out uh, little help me's, help me, lend a hand. And people in their friends list will see when they go to their friends list. It will have a little shovel. I'll show you that. You click on the little shovel, because I'm sure some people are asking to go there. And it will say, lend a hand. You lend them a hand. If they don't go to the quarry, you get 10 bells. If they do, you get 100 bells. So I'll help out little Lloyd here. So he'll tell you that uh, minerals are worth money and silver and gold will get you whatever the material or item in the top right corner was at the time. So we're getting steel. So every gold and silver will get a little bit of steel. Every ruby, sapphire, whatever. Silver, so we get a little bit of steel. A little bit of steel. A lot of steel. Now there are minerals. A lot of steel. All right, we've got to steal it up, man. We might get, we might get a sapphire or something. A lot of steel. So we're gonna have a lot of steel and a little bit of money, uh, if any money at all, really, any bells. Well, you we work quite hard. I hope you'll be satisfied with this reward. I think we will. We're about to get a ton of steel. We don't have a ton of steel already. Eighteen steel. We got four hundred fifty bells and eighteen steel. That is a lot of steel. Uh, just imagine if you went here when there was a natural essence or just like an essence in general cute essence cool essence sporty essence natural essence uh, In that yellow border You would be loving life. That's you get tons of it You'll be so happy and you'll be able to craft whatever amenity is you're chasing most likely So that's the best time to come When there is a golden circle and it has an essence in it I wish it was I wish it was today. I wish I got an essence in my thing. That would have been nice, right? Uh, and then it goes to your little mailbox here. Collect all, we got some steel. Yay for us. I think we have a ton of steel anyway. But we can hold 999 of them. So don't worry about that. The game does tell you craft things, craft all the things, craft them as soon as you can. Don't let the inventory get full. You're not gonna fill it up. Stress less. Don't worry about it. 999. A couple of levels in, you'll have 999 available. And you don't have to worry about that ever. Now, look at this marketplace. See, what do we put up? Look at that. What did I tell you? The coconuts. Three. Well, we sold four for 150. And they sold, man. Just a matter of time before these ones go. Oh, oh, she bought more. She bought more. She got to town, man. This is where you make your bells. Your big bells. Take that. Collect it. Ta-da. Uh, and of course, if you want to add me on your friends list, feel free. Uh, I've been clearing out people who have stopped playing for like more than a week. And been adding... Newer people who have sent requests. Here we go. Here's the shovels we want to see. So these people are playing right now. Lend a hand. We might get 10 bells straight away. Or we might get 100 bells later in your mailbox. 
So that's not people sending you money. No one's going to your account and being like, yeah, I'm gonna give Rob a hundred bells. No, 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 you're just lending the hand. You did your part and you'll get some money for being a nice, friendly friend, helping them out, getting them into the quarry, which is where they wanna go. So sell things for less than the price. Don't waste your leaf tickets. Be smart, be good. Let's get amenities going. Let's go do this. We'll go build our amenity. We've got a new picnic. We've been waiting for this picnic for a couple of days when it's finally here, it's finally come. It's about to be built, be finished. I guess it's been built. It's about to be unveiled. There we go. That's a nice word for it, unveiled. Ooh. So a lot of tips, a lot of good things. Uh, I'll, we'll go and help out a, uh, a villager, an animal, after we do this. And I'll explain a few things there. But, ooh, look at that. Isn't that fancy? Yeah. Celebrate me. All he did was cut down a tree and place some baskets around. We can now craft a tree house. Holy crud nuggets. Okay. So, we'll talk about animals now. We'll learn about animals. So you can see our little friendship just went up to level 12 with Punchy here. He gave his natural essence. He gave his wood. Uh, each animal has something they like. For example, Tex likes to give us cotton. So if you have Tex around, he'll give us cotton. I'll show you Tex. Tex is the penguin. Tex, he'll give us cotton. He won't give us cotton right now because I've done all their requests today. Uh, but he's most likely to give you cotton. It seems Punchy gives you wood, right? But then there's the essence as well. So we have essence. So we go to our characters here. So each character has a trait, I guess it is. Uh, so Rosie is cute. She'll give you cute essence every time she levels up or just randomly she'll give you cute essence. Goldie is natural. So Goldie will give you natural essence. I'm, I'm going through all the natural. Most of these guys are natural. Bill, but he's not in my campsite because he is at level 15. So his level friendship is maxed. But he can get to level 20, you're saying. What? What? That's crazy. Uh, so to get them to level up, you need to craft amenities. So the more amenities you have, the better. So you can see you've got these early ones at the top here that say max. These will get your characters to be able to go to level 10, I believe. Then this one will get you, like, the, the next one down, the next row down, where it says level 5 max that we've got highlighted. That will get your characters to go to level 15. So the next one, this tree here, will let our characters go to level 20. And this is the first time I'm seeing the stats here. It's gonna cost us 30 natural essence. That is a lot. That's just for the level one tree. And 20 cute essence. What? That's insane. So this is the first amenity we've come across that actually costs two types of essence, natural and cute. Cute would usually be this. This costs cute. You can see this tree here costs cute. That means this one is going to cost cute and probably cool or something or, or sporty. So the cool one here, it costs cool. So all these early ones, just one type of essence. Cute, cool, natural, and then sporty for the little skate park. And then the next ones are going to cost double. They're going to be cute and cool, sporty and whatever. Natural and cute. That's that's crazy. You're gonna be going for ages to get essence. But luckily, I think this is the last type of amenity. Possibly. Don't don't hold me to that one. I don't know. So once we built level one, we don't have to worry about that. Our characters should be able to go to level 20, and then we'll be happy there. So back to our animals here. Vilbert was in my campsite. He was a guy giving out natural essence, but he's at level 15, so there's no point having him here. He can't go any higher, so I gotta kick him out until I get my next tree house and he can go up to level 20. That's when I'll bring him back. The higher level they are, the longer it takes to level them up. So your lower level characters, like uh, Lily here or Chrissy or Apple, uh, Carrie, all these guys, Mo level four, they'll level up very quickly, which means you'll level up quickly, this little top level 38 thing here in the corner. The higher you go there, the more stuff you get given. You get given leaf tickets, inventory spots, marketplace boxes, just randomly things each level. So they will level up much, much quicker than the guys we have in our campsite who are way higher, way, way higher levels. Like, for example, uh, someone turned level 13. I think 
I think it was Tex. Tex went level 13 today. I talked to Tex and got plus one points towards his uh, next level. You didn't even see the heart go up. That's how much it needed. It was so low. You wouldn't even know the heart moved up when I first talked, when he first crossed the level 13. It was crazy. So be sure to keep on cycling your animals. Bring all the animals you want. So I like want, I want natural essence. So most of these guys are natural, uh, but now I'm gonna be chasing cute essence as well. So luckily Rosie's here. She can give us cute essence. Whether she's in my camp, I don't think she is. I think I booted it. Poor Rosie. So these guys all give natural essence because that is what I want from them. Damn it. Let's go jump to a villager or animal and we'll finish off a request for them. And I'll explain a request, it's very easy. So you do this every three hours, it cycles every three hours and refreshes. New animals appear in different areas. You'll unlock more animals the levels you go up. So you get one animal per level up to level 36, I believe. So here is Chrissy. She wants some coral. Luckily we have coral, right? Because we have inventory space and we picked it up. So here you go. We can give her that. She'll give us a reward because uh, she's cute. If she levels up, she'll give us cute essence. It's just, I'm not, I'm not assuming she's cute. There's not my personal feelings to it, but I believe she's a cute character. Uh, so you can see Chrissy gives us wood. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Uh, she will give us three wood. So she seems to be a character. If you're looking for a character who gives you wood, once again, that sounds wrong. Uh, Chrissy will be the girl for her. Once again. Uh, so if she gets to level nine, great. We'll get stuff off her. But we can just keep giving her stuff. We got the inventory space, we've been collecting stuff. It's very odd for us to run our stuff. I probably will because I haven't gone on my daily hunt-a-thon and collected everything I see in sight, which is why my inventory is so low at the moment. So there we go, couple points and watch that heart go up. What do you want? See, look at that, perfect, man. Inventory space is what you want. So you can complete three requests per day for the ant, well not per day, per, three hours so every animal every three hours wants three things then also so you get the uh, two or three po plus points for that towards their experience and plus two for her then once you've done their request they don't want any more you gotta go let's talk you get a plus one here so just talk to them they'll tell you something random and that's cool so you should be able to get at least seven points towards their experience every time that was plus two that time that's not bad so she's done now, she's done. It does say come to my campsite, which I guess we should cover. Uh, so she's finished off. She's gonna be on the screen here, ticked off saying, no more requests, request completed for now. Same with the campsite. So the campsite you can see, if you touch their faces, it'll tell you what they want, if they want fish or stuff or anything like that. So Chrissy is done. You can use items in our, where are they? They're in one of these. We have these request items. Maybe maybe if we talk to him, maybe it's that. What do you want? I think it's here. I think we just talked to him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I found them. They're not in an inventory screen. I never use these. So we have 20 of these. Uh, we can do one more request. We have to do three more requests for them. So if you're chasing character, you want to level them up, you want them in your campsite. So let's pretend Chrissy was level six and she's about to go to level seven. And at level seven, you can invite them to your campsite. We could do this. We could be like, yeah, let's use a request ticket. We can get it at level seven. Then she can go into our campsite. For example, uh, I will show you a guy. Let's go with, uh, I believe Angus. I think we have all Angus's items. So you can see Angus here. Oh wait, no, we need a natural table. So this is how you get people to campsite. You gotta craft what they want. Uh, he needs to reach level seven, right? Yeah, let's pretend we have the natural table. So we have all the items he requires to come to the campsite for him to light the campsite. He's level six. Say we did what we did with Chrissy. We did all her level things. We did her requests. She leveled up. She was just like two points away from level seven, but we had no more requests. We could use that request ticket, finish off those requests. She would reach level seven, invite him to the campsite. Ta-da, everything would be great. Everything would be happy. Uh, that's wonderful. Another thing is we can actually invite animals to the area so uh let's say we didn't want chrissy here chrissy sucks we don't want you we can actually use a uh, a call ticket thing and it will invite an animal to an area if an animal leaves uh one last thing we're gonna go to the campsite here 
I'm sure you had a cycle between your animals for the campsite. So you get sick of an animal, you don't want them anymore. I'm sure you had to kick them out, bring someone else in. Uh, it'll be great times. Everyone else will be very happy and loving it, having a good time. Uh, but these are all the tips I got. These are all my uh, little uh, pro tippages that are, I think are important that I use. So this little cat face here, the sad little cat face, that's our animal cycle. Who's at the campsite? Let's say Goldie's level 15 now. We can send her home and then we can bring in a new animal such as Angus, the cow that we got to level seven in Imagination Land. He could come to our campsite and we'd all be happy. There we go. That's how you do it. That's all of my tips. Don't waste your leaf tickets. Shovel Strike Quarry is pretty cool in certain times. Don't go there when it's just for like materials unless you need them. Essence is where it's at. Animals have different uh, personality traits. That'll depend on what essence you get from them. Bring the essence people who you want in your campsite in, so that way you get a lot of that essence regularly, which is why we've cycled through the picnic stuff and stuff. Um, don't craft stupid stuff. That's another one. Don't craft things just because the game tells you to craft things. Don't do it. Don't waste it. Focus on amenities first, so that way your animals can level up higher, and then do your crafting things. But yeah, don't waste leaf tickets. Leaf tickets are important. I, like I said, inventory space, that's it. You'll find the game will go so much smoother. That's the biggest tip I got. The game will go so much smoother, run so much better. Your life will be so much stress-free in the game if you have a lot of inventory space. You don't have to worry about managing things, putting things on the marketplace. Can I hold this? Should I buy this? Should I do this? Just pick stuff up, give it to the animals. You see a bug, you can catch it. You don't have to be like, oh, I can't catch that right now. My thing's full. Never gonna happen. So, that's where I would spend my leave tickets.